Kelly Jr. I'm Alina Rashid. I'm in 11th grade. Emily Johnson, 11th grade. Taking any AP exams this year? Yeah, but <laughs> AP Lang and Apes. I took the Apes exam last week. I didn't like taking like AP Lang. I haven't even taken it yet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm taking AP Lang, which is actually tomorrow. How are you preparing for the exam? I'm not. <laughs> Go into it knowing what you're doing. Really, I just prepared for my final because I knew it was going to be similar to the actual test, and then I just kept reviewing FRQs. Name and grade? Nathan Bell. 10th grade. Brianna Gallo, sophomore. Selena Lee, sophomore. Um, Renee King, and I'm a junior. Ailey Christina Eldridge, and I'm a sophomore. We're all taking AP World. Yeah. Do you feel prepared? Kind of, not really. We're going to get three at best. <laughs> no, I don't feel prepared, but I will after 4 a.m. today. Well, I am so, 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 so tired, and I wish I was at home dead. <laughs> What's your least favorite SOL? Why? Um, probably the algebra one SOL, because I hate math. Not a big fan. I really math as well. This is the hardest AP subject. Uh, I think APES was probably the hardest What? AP World. AP World? Uh, oh, what's AP World? Oh, we've been interviewing about this all. It's AP World. I never heard of it. World history? Oh, it's history? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. If you had any advice to those taking exams in the future, what would it be? Don't stress out too much. Just trust your knowledge of the course if you've been trying hard at it. Most of the time, your teachers are going to put other tests during the time that's your AP exam. Prepare earlier. Like, don't don't cram it like it's a normal test because I promise you, you won't get anywhere from that. Um, pay attention in your classes, you know, get what the teacher says. Uh, it'll make it, like, a lot easier. Wise word. Hi everybody, welcome back to the fourth and final Eats with Emily. My special guest Cameron and I went to Paris Baguette for the final episode of Eats with Emily. There are many Paris Baguettes located in the DMV, but Cameron and I went to the one in Herndon. I found out about Paris Baguette from this Instagram reel that showed their many bakery items like cakes and mochi donuts, but the highlight of it was their cronut, which is a cross between a croissant and a donut. I was intrigued by this delectable pastry combo, so my special guest Cameron and I decided to check it out. Okay, so we're at Paris Baguette right now. I'm here with my special guest Cameron. Hello. And if everything goes according to plan, we'll be getting a Nutella cronut, some kind of drink, and then another bakery item. We'll see where our heart takes us, so let's head inside. Ooh. Okay, so we got all our stuff. We got the Nutella cronut. And then we also got a strawberry mochi donut. And then we also got this watermelon lemonade refresher. And they all look really good. Ooh, that tastes good. Like, I feel like this can taste like a twinge of like the cucumber at the end. Yeah. But it's like a really nice, light flavor. It doesn't have like, I like my lemonade a lot sweeter. So that's good. It doesn't have like, yeah, too intense of the I probably want to try the mochi donut. I love yeah. the texture of mochi donuts so much. The strawberry crust is a little artificial they think to me, but the texture is really good. They also did have like just a plain sugar mochi donut and like a like a mocha one with stuff. This is still good. Put out the main event that we came here for. I think these would be really good fresh because then they have like a very nice, yeah. like, yes, that kind of like, no. It's still really good. Like the, the sugar around it gives it a little bit more texture. And the layers are still nice and creamy. I like it a lot. I think the croissant and the Nutella are really good. Make sure you grab that because the food's pretty. Don't be like that. No. Okay, so now we're gonna rate everything. We'll start with the uh, strawberry mochi donut. What do you think? Honestly, I think I put that at last. It's a very intense artificial strawberry flavor, which was my favorite, but the texture saves me from like hating it. I love mochi donuts, I just wouldn't get that much. Maybe like a, a six. Next, the Nutella cronut. What do you think? That one was really good. Like, both flavors worked really well together. There wasn't too much of one another. The donut was like really like fluffy. I'd give that honestly definitely like a nine, maybe not nine and a half. And what do you think about the drink? It's so really good. Cucumber, like having that little like little sprinkling of cucumber flavor in there. I don't know if I liked it or didn't like it, but like the watermelon lemonade part, uh, like really good. Watermelon is one of my favorite flavors of stuff in general. It was a nice sweet lemonade without being 
like overly sweet, like you're drinking for sure. There's still a little bit of that lemon tang that really helps. I'm going to put that at like a, an eight. And what did you think of Paris Baguette overall? I've been to a Paris Baguette before, but not one this lavish. This is very nice. It has like a nice music, a nice atmosphere. The tiling and stuff is nice. I would obviously definitely come here again. They have a good selection. Thank you for joining me on my fourth and final segment of Eats with Emily. I had a lot of fun creating this segment this year, so thank you so much. If you want to try out Paris Baguette, you can visit their location in Herndon at this address, and they're open every day from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Thanks for watching. Bye!